Okay, so I'm just working on this action for transcribing a phone call, and I thought I'd do a little explainer of this recording URL. So there's a few important things. I've had a call summaries app in the past, and some of the recordings weren't public or they, they didn't work. So here's what you need to do. First off, we're starting our workflow with a call status. Um, you probably have the workflow template, which is better than this one right here. But essentially, it's just when a call is completed, it's going to drop into this workflow. And then we're waiting. We have to wait like around six seconds, something like that, to make sure that the call recording is actually ready. Because if we just do it instantly, the link isn't there. So we wait six seconds. And then we're dropping in message.attachments. And for this to work, you have to make sure that call recordings are enabled. So if we come back to workflows, um, or actually to settings, and we go to phone numbers, then... We go edit configuration and we'll have our call recording box here. So what you need to do is you need to make sure this is checked. You should be using LC phone system to make sure um, everything's set up for you. Otherwise, if it's Twilio, you got to go in and configure and make the recordings public. So just use LC phone system, make sure call recording is checked. And then what you can do is you like it's going to have a default message here that says this call will be recorded. You can just put a space there and that'll disable the message. So legally, you wanna make sure that you're in a state where you don't have to declare that you're recording the call, um, but you know, if you're a bad boy, go for it. Um, I'm a bad boy myself, so I just record regardless. And so you just hit call recording and boom, you're done. And then if we come back to this workflow, so I was testing it a little bit where I have a text go out to make sure the call recording is showing up. And it should show a link like this, um, api.twilio.com. And if you just click on it, it should just pop right up where you can just listen to the file. If it doesn't do that, um, then it's not going to work. Okay, it has to be super publicly accessible, but that's all there is to it.